Ahmed Magdi is a 35-year-old reporter in Egypt Today newspaper. He has been working for eight years now, mainly covering breaking news from Cairo and its surroundings. But two years ago, as he was reporting on a demonstration, he got shot while the demonstrators were trying to break into the headquarters of the Muslim Brotherhood. In this report from the demonstration, I and my colleagues were hit by cartouche guns. I got injured on the chest, head and face. Then an ambulance took me to the hospital for first aid. I was very grateful to God. Fortunately, it did not hit me in the eye. Ever since Egyptian protests against President Mubarak in January 2011 and Morsi Auster in July 2013, Egyptian streets have had demonstrations almost every day. Conflict often broke out between demonstrators in support of different parties. The protesters clashed with police and sometimes there were casualties. The reporters who are in charge of covering these events are often also in danger. Since the 25th of January 2011 at the Mubarak demonstrations, the situation has become different. A conflict may occur at any time. We do not know where the danger comes from. Before, police and demonstrators came from different sides. Now they are often mixed up. Anyone may attack you. This hope since the new government came into power last year. The number of demonstrators on the streets has drastically reduced. Only remnants of the now outlawed Muslim Brotherhood continue to organize protests from time to time. Wazir Khamsin, CCTV.